How would you feel if your life suddenly ended inside a huge empty bubble? Even if you were not alone, it would not save you from the oppressive emptiness. Perhaps this is what Kazimir Malevich envisioned when he created the Black Square. Complete emptiness and absolute nothingness. Feelings that shocked even the artist himself. But what if this contradictory painting describes real landscapes somewhere in space? Hello. In 1915, Malevich could not yet have known that 63 years later, astronomers would discover perhaps the most terrifying places in the universe, the vast expanses of emptiness between clusters of galaxies, the so-called cosmic voids. The 1981 discovery truly horrified all of humanity. American astronomer Robert Kirshner and his team discovered a huge hole in the universe, a fantastically sized spherical region of space, 330 million light years in diameter, in which almost no galaxies exist. This void, known as the Buddha's void, is sometimes referred to as a super void. According to astronomer Greg Aldering, if the Milky Way were at the center of the Buddha's void, we wouldn't have known about the existence of other galaxies until the 1960s. But as it turns out, we did discover them in 1920. Imagine placing a flea on a train that consists of 44 of the largest tank cars with a volume of 120 cubic meters. That's roughly what our galaxy would look like in the void of Volopassus, with all of its 300 billion stars in space. The Bootes Void is the emptiest region of space in the known universe. And within that space, only 60 galaxies have been discovered. By comparison, our Milky Way has about two dozen neighbors only three million light years apart. Considering that the average distance between galaxies in the universe is a few million light years, there must be at least 10,000 galaxies in a vast space like the Bota's Void. The existence of such a void provides food for thought. Certainly anyone who has been able to visit this part of space would be stunned, to say the least, by such isolation. From a cosmic point of view, such vast distances between galaxies as a whole would look blacker than black. The Bota's Void is a perfect example of a perfect vacuum in space where elementary particles such as photons and neutrinos just float slowly through space. Their properties don't change even after hundreds of millions of years because they encounter almost no obstacles in their path. Because of its extremely low density, the Butus Void can be considered a perfect time capsule that has preserved a lot of information we need. But if you're now convinced you've learned about the most terrifying place in the observable universe, you're wrong. In 2004, astrophysicists turned pale at the coldness that radiates from the Eridanus constellation. If an icy hell exists, it's probably hidden somewhere around here. Measurements of so-called relic radiation or cosmic ultra-high frequency background radiation have shown that unusually low temperatures are present in this ominous place. Such coldness indicates the presence of a huge void. As the radiation loses energy on its way through empty regions, this results in a relic cold spot on the ultra-high frequency radioactive emission map of the universe. Research by Istvan Shapudi of the Institute of Astronomy at the University of Hawaii at Manoa has confirmed that the cold spot phenomenon is related to the Eridanus supervoid. This black howling void is about 490 million light years wide, but many believe it is much larger, reaching up to 2 billion light years. According to a team of researchers led by Dr. Istvan Shapudi, it is probably the largest unit of space in the universe ever identified by humans. But there are some inconsistencies in this hypothesis. 
According to the findings, the Eridana Supervoid can cool radiation from the relic ultra-high frequency background radiation by about 20 microkelvins. There is a giant area in the constellation Eridanus where the temperature is 70 microkelvins cooler than the rest of the background. Could these facts mean that this void is even larger than we think? However, astronomers from the University of Durham in the UK suggest that this super void is a cluster of many much smaller voids, each surrounded by galaxies. A simple example of this complex structure is foam, which could be composed of many soap bubbles represented by voids. Scientists say that the total density of matter in the smaller voids, if we compare them to the clusters of galaxies around them, is about the same as the density of matter elsewhere in the universe, or in a relic cold spot. The existence of the WMAP cold spot, also called the Eridanus supervoid, gives rise to many hypotheses. Perhaps the most exciting conjecture of all the hypotheses is that the origin of the relic cold spot was caused by the collision of our universe with the so-called bubble of another universe, says astronomer Tom Shanks, a member of the study team. He believes that the relic cold spot may be the first evidence for the existence of the multiverse in which billions of parallel universes neighbor ours. Meanwhile, the presence of this void, the great cosmic nothing, has once again changed traditional cosmological thinking. At risk is the entire Big Bang theory, which depends on the uniform distribution of matter in the universe after the explosion. Galaxies should be close to each other, and the voids between them should not be large. According to one theory, the void formation theory, galaxies tend to gravitate toward each other, leaving behind regions of empty space. But for such huge voids to form, the universe must have existed much longer than modern science suggests. The structure observed by researchers could not have been created by the visible matter that makes up the objects around us and ourselves. The general consensus is that not enough time has passed since the Big Bang for this theory to have any validity. The redistribution of dark matter, which began much earlier than the first galaxies formed, could have led to the formation of collective superscopes and giant voids. Greg Aldering, who discovered the Buertas void, believes that large voids, whose presence in the cosmos cannot be explained, are formed by the merger of smaller voids. What's more, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey project allows us to see more of what's happening in the universe right now. New voids are forming, expanding in all directions, and seemingly squeezing galaxies out of space. It all looks pretty creepy, doesn't it? But there is even more shocking information that directly concerns us. In 2013, a group of astronomers came to the conclusion that the Milky Way, along with the nearest galaxies, is in the middle of a truly colossal void length of about 2 billion light years. Scientists compared the amount of radiation reaching Earth from nearby galaxies and from the far reaches of the universe. And by the same token, they painted a picture of humanity living on the outskirts of a metropolis. The lights above this large city illuminate the night sky more than the light from the windows in the neighboring houses. Welcome to the Universal Outback Earthlings, said study authors Ryan Keenan, Amy Barger and Lennox Cowie. The first letters of their surnames were the name of the giant region of relative emptiness. KBC, Keenan, Barger, Cowie. The KBC void is a hot topic of discussion in the astronomy community. If the KBC void really exists, then such a fundamental problem as the low density of galaxies and the surrounding space explains the discrepancy between the values of the Hubble constant, which characterizes the rate of expansion of the universe. This is one of the most difficult problems of modern astrophysics. 
Different calculation methods give different values for the Hubble constant. In the near side of the universe we observe, the rate of expansion of space is greater than in the distant parts of the universe. But in theory, the Hubble constant, like any other constant, should not vary with the method of measurement. If the Milky Way is in a giant void, then there is much less matter in the cosmic superfrequency background radiation on its way to Earth than there is on average in space. By correcting for this, experimental data could be harmonized and the expansion rate of the universe could be accurately measured. Life on the edge of the void, or simply the nothingness, seems unsettling. Perhaps because of this cosmic vacuum, we are so sensitive to loneliness and strive to be close to other people.